Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a video on the Red Sox locking up potentially one of the better relief pitchers in all of Major League Baseball. Of course, it's just been a season and a couple games from, so we can't say that yet, but it's certainly looking like it could go that way in Garrett Whitlock to a four-year extension that could that guarantees him nearly $19 million. Whitlock is guaranteed a total of $18.75 million from 2023 to 2026, a source told ESPN, who first reported this apparently. The deal also includes club options for 27 and 28, with the source saying Whitlock would make 8.25 and 27 and 10.5 and 28 if those said options are picked up. And the Red Sox, if hopefully this doesn't happen, but he's not as squeaky clean by then, could pay a $1 million buyout before 27 or a 500 k buyout before 2020. Eight. Obviously, Garrett Whitlock, we stole him from the rival Yankees, which makes it even better that he was one of the best rookie relievers in years to perform and has performed well to start the season. He relies on a sinker, um, obviously a sinker slider changeup, and then kind of mixes in his four seamer only 10% of the time to be almost an out pitch that are mixing up in the zone. But that sinker's filthy, that slider's filthy, that changeup's filthy, and he's just on the cusp of scratching it, which is exactly kind of what Hein Bloom hinted at when he said, we hope, we, we hope we're just scratching the surface of what he can accomplish. The fact that he said a few times, you, get, you give him the ball and he'll get outs until you take it from him, that's perfect. For such a young kid, 25 years of age, a rookie that kind of got thrown by the wayside by the Yankees, the damn Yankees, and then the Red Sox get him and take advantage of it and turn it into a good four-year contract that I think is going to work out really well for them. As just like Heim Bloom said, it seems like Garrett Whitlock is just scratching the surface, and I think he's going to continue to be a very good pitcher this year. Um, and obviously, uh, this year he had got off to a pretty solid start, had a couple balls that he kind of left over the plate, but starting with a 3.86 to start early, I think my prediction for him this year is I don't think you're going to consistently have a below two ERA as a reliever. So I would say like 2.5 or below, I would predict for this year, because if he has a 1.96 again or something below that, then that's just fantastic for back to back years. But I would say 2.5 below as end of year ERA is perfect expectations for Garrett Whitlock, and I think those are my expectations for most of his career with the Red Sox, where even a 3-2 whatever season as a reliever, that's fine to mix in there, but I think he's good enough to be in the mid two, and maybe even have another season where he has a one nine six or something like that. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been a quick video on the Red Sox, on them locking up very wisely and very smartly, and very, 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 very good pitcher in Garrett Whitlock, who again, like Heim Bloom and everybody seems to be saying, is just scratching the surface. Thank God the damn Yankees got rid of him. Peace out, everybody.